Hey there, Modern Math Teacher. What if AI could save you hours of planning each week? Guys, back when we were in school, we had to write lesson plans and they took forever to write six pages. Now with the help of AI, we can streamline so many of our teaching tasks. AI might seem overwhelming, but it truly doesn't have to be. In this episode, I'll share three easy ways to start using AI in your math classroom without stress, confusion, or a tech degree. I'm your host, Kristen Moore, and today on the Modern Math Teachers Podcast, we're talking all about how AI is going to change the game for you and your students. Now, why is AI such a game changer for math teachers? Right When AI first came on the scene, I know it was really popular in like the English social studies crowd, but AI can be a game changer for math teachers too. First up, AI can automate repetitive tasks. Think lesson planning, differentiation, and everyone's favorite, grading, okay? Simply drop in or type up the activity or resource you're planning on using and use the craft framework to plan a lesson. You can even ask it for a differentiated activity or automate the grading process, all with one simple tool. You can also use AI to help generate those real-world math problems and PBL ideas really, really quickly. Pro tip, tell it to use your students' names, okay? So this is why I love using ChatGPT as opposed to some of those other robust um, AI services, you know, like uh, Magic School AI or Eduade. Uh, those are both great, right? But I like ChatGPT because of how customized I can get with it. So I can tell ChatGPT to use my student names. Students, you know, are instantly hooked when they see themselves or their classmates in a story problem. Also, you guys, AI can give instant feedback to your students, freeing up your precious teacher time. Guys, this is such a game changer. Hello, second teacher in the classroom. So there is a new tool I'm experimenting with. Uh, it's called Snorkel. It's super cool, and it captures the student work and thoughts and provides them with real-time feedback and corrective measures. It is really neat, and I want you to give it a try. They've got a library of ready-to-use resources that you can try right away. So again, that's Snorkel, S-N-O-R-K-L. I'll make sure to link that here because if you've never used it, it's one I think you're going to want to want to get your feet wet with. Okay, so now let's talk about three simple ways to use AI right now. All right. Lesson planning, friends. I said it before. We used to have to write crazy lesson plans, and lesson planning has evolved over time. But we can use AI to really streamline this process and think about all the different aspects of lesson planning. I really like to use AI to help create some scaffolding questions, some exit tickets, and of course, brainstorming ideas for projects. I am just loving AI for lesson planning. So using that craft framework, I can create full lesson plans or ask for real-time lesson modifications on the fly. I know I shared that a few episodes ago that I was struggling with the logarithms uh, lesson with my students. I literally had chat GPT next to me as my AI teaching bestie. And between the two of us, we were able to come up with some solutions to make sure that my students knocked logarithms out of the park. It's kind of like the old school uh, smarter child or ask Jeeves, but like so much better, way better for your teacher tech bestie for sure. Now, AI can also really help you, not just with lesson planning, but with student support, okay? AI chat tools and other AI math tools can explain steps or generate personalized practice from them. Now, this is going to be controversial, but here's my hot take. Hear me out. Mathway and photo math, they don't have to be the bad guy. I know. They, you can actually use them as real tools in your classroom. Promise you, you can. So here, here's what I got to throw at you. I want my students to learn. And you do too, right? Like, of course you do, okay? So what if we assigned our students work, right? And if it isn't already something self-checking, you know, like a Delta math is or whatever, right? We give them uh, a maze or um, some printed practice problems or they're going around to task cards, whatever it is. If it isn't already a self-checking task, we want to give them the answer key so they can check their answers, right? There's no point in them doing 30 problems if they're doing 30 of them incorrectly. So. We've got the students doing their work. We've got an answer key and we have the students checking their work. Students are going to check their own work and if they get the problem wrong, I want you to teach them to use Mathway or PhotoMath or whatever their preferred one is to review the problem. Have your students complete their own error analysis on the problem, explain 
uh, where they went wrong, and then copied on the correct way to do it. This gives them immediate feedback. It shows them how to use tech tools responsibly, and it frees up uh, your teaching time from having to go through and grade a whole bunch of incorrect assignments. Your students are learning how to use that tech appropriately. They're learning how to learn with this tech. And come on, that's what we want, right? Okay. So also, uh, AI can be fantastic as an engagement booster. And we all know we need to boost our engagement all the time. So, uh, we can generate real world math scenarios in seconds. Okay. You know, I love all things that are real and relevant. So while Conmigo is a really cool AI tool and it's really good at creating like a real world scenario, I still love chat GPT for this. And why is that? Because I can upload all my students' interests, their aspirations, plus their names. So if you did one of those beginning of the year student interest surveys, you can literally upload a PDF of that information into ChatGPT and have it come up with problems based on things that they're interested in. You could even have it put the student's name and the things that they're interested in, right? Okay. So you got to be a little careful. You don't want any like... um not not good data, right, to go out into ChatGPT. Uh, but for something like their name and their interests and their aspirations, I don't think that there's really going to be any problem with that. You're not giving away any personalized uh, identifiers there. Okay. So that was just my one little caveat. Anyways, uh, so again, you can upload your students' interests and aspirations, whether directly from data or just from your own knowledge and their names and come up with any number of different but relatable real world scenarios to throw at them. Your students are instantly going to be engaged with that. Now, I want to leave you guys with a quick AI-powered activity to try this week. For example, I want you to have your students use AI to analyze something, okay? You can use them to have, uh, to use AI to analyze a real-world data set and make predictions, okay? You can have them find um, an article online that has math, that has data, and have that put in there and make predictions. Or, like I mentioned, you could try to teach your students how to use photo math the right way. Okay, so have them use that for error analysis. You've got to teach them the skill of error analysis and then when it's appropriate to use photo math. But honestly, like then it's not a battle for you. They know the appropriate time and place. And that to me is a low lift, high impact win win for you guys. All right, you guys, um, that's going to be it for this episode, my friends. I want to wrap this up. AI is here to stay, and there are some great ways that this is going to change your life, from automatically creating those differentiated lessons to providing student feedback to giving you that infinite supply of real-world examples to use as warm-ups or projects. AI is going to help you elevate your teaching game. I'm really excited to see what you can come up with next. And if you have no clue where to get started with AI, I want to encourage you to download the AI and math cheat sheet for quick start ideas with 25 AI tools, including my personal curated list of my top five go-to AI tools, plus the quick start prompts you need to get real results with AI right away. I'll make sure that I link that here in the show notes. All right. Until next time, you guys keep experimenting with AI for you and your students. And as always, keep it real.